Hi guys. Hopefully you can hear me. Hi everyone. Let's see. I'm back. Hopefully you can all hear me. I think this is working. Hi everybody, happy Sunday, or whatever day it is where you are. Hello, I'm back. Okay. I'm in a new dojo, so us everyone. Us, us, us. Uh, I'm in a new dojo, so you don't know exactly where I need to be standing. If the lights, if the windows behind me are too bright, maybe. Where's that glass window? Um, that's worse. Right? That's Hi everybody. Hello. 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 Okay. I'm trying to get this so you can see me. Because we're going to be doing some stance stuff today. Thank you. We just moved uh, dojos. So last time I was in a different dojo. A new dojo. Okay. Um, Alrighty. I think I got it. I think you can see me, hopefully. Everyone can see me. I always forget this is opposite. Hello again. Uh, this is great. I'm so excited to train with all of you today again. Um, I don't know if you guys got to attend my last training, but uh, if, you, if you did, you kind of know what to expect. I do a lot. Uh, I'm very focused on basics and key hone and um, we did a lot of that using both sides of our body and our hips. So we did a lot of um, what I would call generating power from pretty stationary stance and transitioning um, generating power from our hips. Today I'm going to go do something different. Same idea, still how to generate power, uh, but I'm going to work on transitioning and body shifting today. I have, again, um, several combinations, and bear with me, I forgot my notes. I had it all written out, but I think I remember it all. Um, I have several combinations for you, again, just a small space. Us, us everyone, so wonderful to see everyone from all over the place. Um, so, some combinations working on body shifting, uh, because of, you know, time, we're only going to do one stance. Okay, enough of me blotting. Let's just warm up. Um, I think that's good. If the, again, if the light behind me is too much, let me know. Okay. All right. All right, just let you know right now. You're just warming up your body. Punching your toes in your Itch. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go. Go. Seach. Hatch. Ku, ju, itch, ni, san, chi, go, rok, si, ch, at, ku, ju. Good. And from here, so we got you both feet together. We're going to practice kicking any height you wish, chun on or jodan, on um, alternating legs. So I'm going to start with my left. Itch. And now the other leg. Knee. Sound. Chi. Go. Rope. Seach. Hatch. Q. Chu. Itch. Knee. Sound. Chi. Go. Rope. Seach. Hatch. Q. Good. I always do the same warm up, so 
to still bear with me. If you were with me last time, you know them already. So we're going to just start with our hands, palms down in front of us. Um, as you're warming up, slowly so you don't hurt your elbow joint, but we're just going to practice our feet. So you twist, 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 and back. So I'm going to start again from my left. Itch, and then alternate. Knee, sam, chi, go, go, sich, hach, q, ju, itch, knee, sam, chi, go, go, sich, hach, q, ju. Okay, and then again from Mr. Gudachi, still warming up your legs. Uh, we'll practice Yoko, uh, Yoko Gary, Kayagi, side snap. Okay, starting from the left. Itch, and then alternate knee, sound, chi, go, rope, sich, hatch, ku, ju. Itch, knee, sound, chi, go, rope, sich, hatch, ku, ju, and then. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, so, um, Today, all my combinations are only going to use one, well, one stance. And hey, Sukadachi. So, two stances. Say, uh, Sukadachi and hey, Sukadachi. Uh, all combinations. <laughs> Hi. Hi, everybody. All combinations will just use those two stances. Very, very simple combinations. Um, but today, I'm going to use um, shifting your weight through transitioning stances. Again, I'm, uh, I do all my combinations for these at-home trainings, so you can do them in a small space. So you really only need one step ahead of you, one step behind you, one step to the left, one step to the right. Um, yeah, that's it. So we're just gonna, as I did last time, you know, I gradually work my way up. So it's not very difficult off the, off the cuff, but as it gets, um, as you'll build and build and build. So, um, my pointers are, before we begin, is concentrate on the basics that you already know uh, when you're attacking or you should be in full face. Make sure your hips are nice and square, your shoulders are nice and square. Don't over-rotate or under-rotate. Uh, when you're in half-face position, um, from Zenku Sadachi at the very least, you want to open up your hips. Open up your hips. So this knee, when you're facing forward, this knee is very much turned forward. But when you're open, open up your hip, it slightly turns out a little bit. Uh, otherwise, you can't really get you really can't get into half face position. All right. So again, very square and very very half face. Good. Okay. Um, we're going to do a lot of transitioning, and I would ask that you challenge yourself as we do this transitioning, um, and don't come up in the middle. So everything's going to work on transitioning through the center of your body, whether it's this direction, or this direction, or this direction. It doesn't really matter. I just really want you to try to keep, imagine like there's a ceiling right here and you have to maintain your height. Okay, good. Good morning, good morning. Okay, good. So let's start with our left hand out, get on our eye, come feet. Good. Um, and make Yakuzuki reverse punch. So all we're going to do as we're warming up, keep your elbows in tight to your body, right? Make sure you're not over-rotating, but nice and square. And we're going to, maintaining our height, shift together, and then switch our feet. And that's it. That's all we're going to do. So let's try it together. Ready? Itch. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go. Rope. Sich. Hatch, ku, ju. Good, let's try it. I 
know we're still warming up, but just a little bit more speed. Itch. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go. Rope. Seach. Hatch. Ku. Ju. Good. And relax. And don't cheat. When you cheat, you're only cheating yourself. Um, so make sure you bring all, all of that together. It's very easy to only come halfway and then switch. Yes, it makes you faster, but you're kind of missing the point of the training. So feet together through the center. Hello, everyone. Great, great, great. Okay, good. All right, so now we're going to do the same thing, but with kicks. I like to be even. So it's going to be very similar. Um, we'll start with our left leg out, and as you transition, you're going to bring your feet together, and then I'm going to kick with this leg as I step out, then kick off the back leg. So every time I'm going to switch, kick, kick. Okay, I think we got it. So let's do that nice and slowly. Let me move so you can actually see me. Um, you can do whatever you want with your hands. Sometimes I keep them down, sometimes I keep them up. It's up to you. So tr transitioning, itch, then this one with kicks, then this one kicks. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go. Oops. Rok. Seach. Hatch. Two, two, good, and your knee, and relax. Great. Okay, so what we've done so far is all transitioning forward, right? We're just replacing our feet and just shifting the weight. Um, now we're going to transition 180 degrees. So um, we started from this position. The le uh, left leg will come back. And then just like we did, so we did this way, right? And then stepped out with our right leg. So same general idea, except our right leg is going to go in this direction. And again, we step back and the opposite leg is going to twist. So it's essentially what we just did, just with a 180 degree rotation. So let's try it. Really important, uh, keep your elbows tight to your body. Good. Oh, so sus, everybody. Oh, I've seen all the flags, that's cool. Okay, good. So we'll start again from Yakusuki position. Um, by the count of one, bring your left leg back. Itch, and then the right leg is gonna twist. Looks okay, good. And same thing, now the right leg is gonna come back. And then the left leg is going to set. E. Sun. Chi. Go. Rope. Seach. Hatch. Ku. Ju. Okay, now with a little bit more speed. Ready? Itch. Knee. Sun, chi, go, rope, seach, hatch, ku, ju, good, and relax. Okay, so then. To be even, we do a very similar one with kicks. So I'll just warn you, uh, we'll do combinations with punches and kicks, well, striking and kicks. Um, the kicking ones are always going to be just slightly different. OK. So uh, we had kicked in uh, this fashion before. Uh, we're really not going to do that this time. 
So the first thing you're going to do is with your left leg, you're going to kick a shiro gary. So you're going to up, kick behind you, then rotate, and then off the back leg, you're going to kick. So the same leg is going to kick all the time. Again, if you're this direction, left leg is going to kick, then right leg is going to kick. And then back to the same one, left leg, then right leg. Okay, good. So we'll do 10 times from the left side and then 10 times from the right side. Okay, ready? Nice and slow. Itch. Knee. Sound. She. Go. Hatch. Coop. Shoot. Good, and relax. So the one thing I would just say before we do the other side, about Shiro, is don't over-rotate your body. So if you over-rotate, you're going to be kicking like a terrible side kick. So um, about 10% turn, kick with the heel thrusting, thrusting kick. Uh, yeah, and it doesn't matter what type, chudan, jodan, whatever you like. Okay, good. Uh, we'll switch our legs. So start with your right leg forward. So the right leg is going to be right back. A shiro. Okay. Itch. Sun Chi Go Oak Sich Hatch Ku Hopefully it won't be too loud out there. It's unseasonably warm here in Pennsylvania. Don't know what it's like everywhere else, but it's very warm today. Okay, good. Alright, so we did Transitioning forward, and then we did transitioning 180 degrees. Now we're going to kind of bring it all together. So the combination is going to go as such. Um, we'll just start from, we'll start, the first one's always awkward. We'll start from natural stance. It'll go just like we did this direction, and then always feet are going to come through the center. Opposite leg is going to move, right? Transition, and then just like we just did, I'm going to bring this leg back, transition, the opposite knee in the other direction, and then as I come through the center, this way again, right? So we're going to start with the yakuzuki going forward, then we'll go um, 90, 180. So it's a three punch combination. I'm going to count it to start just for so everybody understands it. So um, just starting from natural stance, you're going to step out with your left leg, punch with your right hand. Itch. Good. Now the left leg is going to come back together, and you're going to move the right leg to the right side. And you get to again. Knee. And then as we just did, uh, 180 degrees, you're going to bring the right leg back, and the left leg is going to turn and punch. And that's the combination. 
So we'll start again from the beginning and we'll do it just as we did together and switch your legs. One, good. And then we brought the front leg back and switched our feet. Two, and then again, the opposite leg from what you transitioned is always the one that's stepping, that helps. So if, I'm, if I bring my left leg back, I always know it's going to be my right leg that's moving and vice versa. So I know this stepping can be a little complicated, but that's the way it goes. Okay, good. So from this position, one more time. Okay. Stepping out the left, punching with the right. Itch. Then the left comes back, knee, then the uh, right comes back, up shift. Sun. One, two, three, that's it. Ready? Then back to the front. Itch. Knee. Sun. Itch. Knee. Sun. Okay. You got it? I know it's really complicated. We'll keep trying. To the front. Itch. Knee. Sun. Itch. Knee. Sun. Itch. Knee. Back to where you came. Okay, okay, okay. So let's try it all one count. Three, three punches, one count. Ready? Let's start from that. Okay. Stepping out the left, punching with the right. Itch. That's one count. Now back to the front. The Good, good. So we'll do it five times with speed. Don't cheat. Bring your feet through the center. Good. Okay. So in front of natural stance, left leg stepping out, right knee punching. With speed, three punches. Itch. Knee. So we're kind of playing it by ear. Okay, good. Uh, yes. So what we did with kicks is we kicked off the front leg and then uh, off the back leg. So we're going to do that again. So we're just going to go by count of one, this way, this way. And then, again, you'll bring your feet together, right, and we're going to kick uh, Let's do side snapping kick. Keep it keage and step in, and that's it. And then from this position, just like we did, you'll step back, ashiro, and rotate my in place. And then from this position, we're again going to transition forward, back to one. So just like we did before, when you're kicking, we aren't going to switch legs back and forth. We'll just stick with one leg for a little while. Because it's a little bit more complicated. Okay, good. So left leg's gonna kick, stepping in, then right leg's gonna kick, second kick. Okay, good. Itch. Then your feet come together through the center. Keep your height, side snap and kick, transition to the knee position. Then from this position, back kick, and my hair. And that's it. That's the three directions that we went, right? 90 to 180. Okay, good. So from here, come through the center, 
One, then back, two, then back, three. Good, think you got it. Keep going, go by the count. Itch, transition. Knee, sounds. Greetings, 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 everyone. Okay. Okay. All right, now we'll do that again. Just add a little speed. Pick it up a little bit. Okay, starting with the left. We gotta do the other side then. We'll just do three with speed for the sake of time. We're stepping out the right leg. Don't go so fast that you don't transition to the center. Make sure I always move in the center. Ready? Itch. Thank <laughs> you. 
stay somewhat out of the bright light there. This is where you don't remember, so bear with me. Okay, so we've done now um, going straight forward, so no degree of turning, then 90 degrees of turning, and 180 degrees of turning. But as we know, even from the very beginning of when we practice Prate and we learn hand shodan, that we also learn 270 degrees of turning, which you know is very familiar from this position. 270 degrees, right? So we're going to add that in. If I can remember, that's the trick, right? Okay, good. All right, so this time we're going to start with our left leg out. And we're going to do all striking techniques to start. All striking. And it's going to go in the same basic direction that we've gone this whole time. So we went forward. Then we went 90, then we went 180, and then we're going to go 270. All right, good. All right. So this time we'll start from this position. We'll make reverse punch. And then remember, our feet came in and we went this direction. So we're going to do the same thing this direction and shift the uh, Mawashi and Fuji. Uh, one thing I notice a lot when people do Mawashi and Fuji or Age and Fuji, it doesn't matter. As they wait too long to bring their hand back, then it's this weird motion like this, and that's not correct. So your striking surface, as we all know, is the elbow. So you want to make sure that's what you're leading with, not the fist. This way, this way. Okay. So again, it's left leg comes back, and then right leg steps out. Okay. And in this case, we're doing um, yaka kamai. So you want to make sure. Um, you twist, 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 so you're in half face. This is kind of like handing up, right? Um, this direction. And then we shifted our feet and we went back in this direction. And from here, we're going to just do high toe. So everyone does their high toe a little differently. When I think practical application of high toe, it's got to come, it's coming like here or here. So it's got to come a little bit down at the end. Um, so it's not rising like this. It's got to get over the shoulder. So make sure you get it up over the shoulder. Okay, and then we've got to go 270 degrees. So it's going to be just like hand showdown sort of, right? 270 degrees or a ten. Good. Then we'll be in the same position where we started from, right? We started from this position. So let's try it all together. By, by the count of one, it's reverse punch, itch. Then our feet come together, and we're going to twist. Washing up your TV. Then we're going all the way back. And this leg's going to shift. High toe. And then we're going to go 270 degrees. So turning, 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 and and Good. Okay. Itch. Knee. San. Chi. Itch, me, san, chi, itch, me, san, chi. Good. Okay. Pretty basic. Just using basic striking techniques. Uh, we'll do it all on count slowly together. Remember, it's the same thing. Whatever, you're switching your legs. Switching, switching, switching. So, okay. So from, there we go. Uh, from the number I, all motions by one count. Slowly. Itch, knee, sorry, one count, I said. Itch. Knee. Sun. She. And go. Good. Okay. So again, we'll do it three. 
three times with speed. Don't lose your balance. Don't get all wacky. Good. Okay. Start with your left hand, uh, left hand out. All motions by one count. I think I've got plenty of time here. Uh, of course, I can't see the time. Oh, yeah, we've got plenty of time. My clock is... My clock is fast, so I've got more time than I thought. Great. Okay. So this time we're going to uh, just build on what we just did and add blocking. So each... Motion will have blocking and counterattacks. Good. And we'll add in a new technique. So if you need me to slow down, let me know. Okay. Uh, we'll just start. We'll just start from the number. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. So first move. Um, we're just going to do inside outside, which you did, okay, forearm block, then he's on his knee, back to knee. So it's sort of uh, what we've already done, but obviously more. So again, we did on Brad, inside outside, forearm block, and then knee home to knee. Good. And then we brought our feet together and we went in this direction. So we're going to do the same thing, Avi, okay, 
than you did Mawashi of me. So same thing. I give him Mawashi of me. Then we came back to this direction and went 180 degrees. So we're going to do the same thing. Get on the ride. And then we did high tail. Then we went 180 degrees and did Aura Ken. But we're just going to modify that a little bit. And we're going to go 180 degrees and do Yanzuki like Asai Dai. Us. Good. Okay. One more time. Um, starting from Gate on the Ride. This is inside, outside. Form block, itch. Then we're going to go to the side. Uh, Agi Oke, okay, Ichi, Ni. Then we're going to go 180 degrees, Gate on the Ride, and Haito. Then we're going to go 270 degrees, Yamazuki. Got it. I think we got it. Maybe. We'll see. Okay. So we're really going to be starting from here, right? Inside, outside, one on block. Then knee. Then sound. Then she. Good. Good. How do we got it? I'm, I'm struggling with it and I'm teaching it, so hopefully everyone's catching on. Good. Itch. Me, San, Chi. Again, by the count, itch. Me, San, Chi. All right, good. Good, good, good. Okay, one count, all motions, very slow. From gain on breath. It's opposite. It's confusing me. Okay, good. Let me get on that. Itch. Knee. So we're going to start with the right leg out. Got it. Get <laughs> Okay, by my count, remember the first one was inside, outside, front block. Itch. Then knee And then we're going to go this direction. Knee. And then back this direction. Sun. And then 180 degrees. She good. Itch. Knee. San. She. Itch. Knee. San. 
Increase in pulse will do by one count, five motions, uh, four directions, went more than five motions. <laughs> it's like a little mini count. Okay, good. All right, so right leg out, slowly, slowly, five one count on motions. Okay, itch. The With speed. Best you can, last one. Okay, ready? Itch. Knee. Good, yeah. Um, so be creative when if you're working at home. Try to think of different angles that you can move. Obviously, we've done today the most basic angles that you can do, right? We went forward, then we went 90 degrees. 90 is very easy no matter which direction you go. Yeah, then we went 180 degrees, and then we went 270 degrees. But we know these things from hand show them. They're not very complicated movements. Um, I would challenge you uh, in your own training to think of more complicated um, transitioning. So for instance, you have angular motions, which, you know, just slightly different, whether it's this direction, this direction. But that's pretty simple, right? So in the sense of Kamike, to help you understand uh, Kamite, um, you have, you're sort of in danger when you remain, thank you. Yeah, one, yeah. <laughs> I practice them at home a lot before I brought them to you guys. So um, you're in the, when you're in the triangle, you're sort of in danger. I, I don't have time to explain the triangle to you, but uh, if you fight Shobi Pon or Jui, or Ju Kamite, you understand the triangle, right? So um, if this is the triangle, I don't really want to go this way or this way. I want to make I want to get outside of that triangle. I find as a very small person, I'm only five foot two, uh, just over a hundred pounds. So I don't um, have my body weight to throw around. So uh, when I to go, I want to go this way. So um, we'll say this chair. This chair is my opponent, so you can see the triangle goes out this way. And uh, depending on the size of this person, you know, they can gain on you really quickly within that triangle. So my idea is if I'm fighting this person, would not necessarily need to be to go in any of those directions, but rather this direction, right? Let me show you this cut. So this is my opponent. I want to go this direction, so that I'm not either behind or to the side, to the side. You know, ideally, your concentration would be, now there's more vulnerability from this, from behind, this way. 
Um, I would challenge you to work on that, that kind of shifting. And it's easy, like I'm doing it with the chair here, you can do it with the chair at home, right? Just shifting, trying to get your body weight to quickly behind, behind. So um, in a sense of say, for those of you who like, I know I can't fight right now, but you can think of drills that you would be doing with this, right? So I could think, right, this is my opponent, Joda, and then I can keep shifting. Either way, Joda, keep shifting. Uh, Malashigeti is very good for this type of shifting. Shift, Malashigeti, keep shifting. Um, you get your, this opponent is moving in most cases, so you get them tilted in the wrong direction. Say if he starts to go this way, then this, that's a really good time for me to kick and transition this way. Um, so start thinking about that. I would challenge you, instead of just a straight line like 90 or 180, but to think even bigger this way. Uh, one of the, we've talked about a lot of transitioning a couple of times that I worked with you guys um, using, last time we did a lot of this, right? A lot of this motion. This just prepared you now for more, more of this motion. Uh, but we haven't talked about um, suryashi, suryashi, one leg suryashi, and then two legs yuriyashi. We haven't really talked about these concepts, so that would be another way of um, shift body shifting and transitioning your weight to generate power um, that we haven't discussed yet that I would urge you to work on at home. I have a couple of orange books right now. We're trying to learn hanasana, and basically all I have them do is step and then shift a little step, and shift a little, so you get the idea of dragging. Um, if I work with you again, perhaps that's the next level of what we work on. Uh, but uh, again, important ideas is you, your center of body. We talked about this the last time I was here. When we did these this punching techniques, this set, transitioning to the center of your body. This just elaborated on this transition this way. Um, same, I, same idea. Tandin is the most important thing that you need to be working on. So um, that, that was my class that I had planned for you guys. I know I'm at the, I'm kind of at the end of my time. You can't really see me either. But um, again, I don't see too many questions. That These will be posted. Um, so yeah, thanks guys. Awesome.